What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. Right? So the first thing I'm going to share with you people because I have a lot to share with you, right? At the beach is to trial. See? Right now, it's a journey. Then put it off, you know, until... Then put it on a pause, I should say. Until January. See? I think the 9th of January or something like that. You see it? So just gonna update on that and the next thing me i go share a uh, three youth with the police them all on pan for larceny see them broke in a one shop in a westmoreland see and a three teenagers them you see me the biggest one are 19. so this is what them say two boys are among three persons who were charged on tuesday following a break in at a shop on Beckford Street in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland last week. The boys are both students from Savlamar. The third person, a 19-year-old, Orville Morris, from Froome in the parish, they have been charged with shop breaking and larceny. The incident reportedly occurred between 10.41 p.m. last Wednesday and 6.45 a.m. the following day. It was reported that a vendor locked her shop and when she returned the following morning, she discovered it had been broken into. Information reaching our news team indicated that clothing and accessories valued at $60,000 and a cell phone were discovered missing. Later that day, the police, acting on information, went to a premises where the three accused men were reportedly found in possession of the stolen items. They were taken into custody and following investigation were subsequently charged. Why may I tell you? Them look at you, they them start from early. Zine, it look like they had a big one and lead them. So people who don't know want to pick them dead. You see me I say? And don't make them come at your yard with nothing where you no pay for because they're not supposed to have no money for pay for nothing unless they do a little holiday work. You see me? So leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. So people, you remember when Crab Circle did that open back and some pranksters choose to go to Crab Circle go trick the people them say they're a health inspector. Seeing one of them in name Buck Tour that me know him as me not really know him that much but the one with him i think chuck star and nitro me know them you see me and he look like see i him a lead them because a whole heap of other things them do you see me everybody want to get viral you understand everybody want to be a star and some will go at some length to become known you understand me and this what them do I don't know if them did know say them could have get in a trouble feet. But see it you know, them in a hot water. Because the police them hold on upon them and charge the three of them. You understand me I say? And people hope them learn them lesson from this. Know what you do. Because some of them pranks tell you most of the time them do some extreme stuff, you know. So I go make you know where them get charged for, right? Them get charged with breach of the profession's supplementary to medicine act and conspiracy at common law to breaches of the profession's supplementary to medicine act. See? So that's how them get charged from. See? The charges stem from an incident at the reopening of the Crab Circle at Hero Circle in St. Andrew, which was previously closed by the Ministry of Health and Sanitary Practices. It is reported that the accused presented themselves as public health officers to the attendees by way of mimicking the attire of the public health inspectors, pro um, presenting fraudulent identification cards. So this are the one when he embarked to you know went as far as to address the audience falsely representing himself as a health inspector the actions of the accused were recorded and uploaded to social media which subsequently led to their arrest and charge seeing so them do it and put it on them page i saw them get wall and pan and the one with him buck to him even come upon the news you know people you saw me I say him come on the news and I say this and say that. And him not show no remorse after everything gone. 
you see them still around with this and still around with that so finally them get where them did a look for them get all of the fame and also i hope them can manage this so let me know what you think in the comment section and people me share something with owner yesterday about two bike youth we get caught up and drop up drop out on red hills road right so me i go share the um girlfriend and other people where they did it account our go on seeing toddler save as dad and man shot dead and people may wonder where this look a picnic i do out there so at such a late hours in the night see a toddler narrowly escaped arm early tuesday morning thanks to the swift action of the twin um twin brother of a man who along with the child's father were gone down along red hills road in saint andrew the victims are shavana shavi palmer and quarry hunter both residents of Colbeck Avenue, Kingston 20. About 12.30 a.m., the two men, both delivery riders, were seated at a local shop. A motor vehicle approached and assailants disembarked, opening gunfire on the men. Upon the arrival of the police, Palmer and Hunter were found lying in a pool of blood. They were taken to hospital where they were confirmed dead. Tamara, Palmer's partner, with whom he also shared two children recounted the harrowing moments during the attack she their daughter was right there and had the twin hunter's siblings so the one we get caught up one of the man we get caught up and dead theme sibling right i guess them a twin grab her and cover her deso she said pointing at a space inside the shop me drop a grung so she drop a grung seeing when me hear the car door slam me come out, me no see nothing. And when me look up there, so me see Shavi in a pool of blood and me ugly man kiss him. With tears streaming down her face, she held her, chil her children who remained blissfully unaware that they would never see their father again. Palmer's sister, Raquel, said that she had no idea why anyone would want to hurt him. Shavana is a cussy person, but he is not bad. Him and family members will argue, but next two minutes, we and him good again, she said. Palmer had initially pursued music, but him, you know what I mean? Like say, the music never did a gun away, so him did a run off a little shop, you know what I mean? We sell everyday items. So, him sister even said, you know what I mean? The other day, him do some delivery because him do delivery work too. Him deliver food and him something there. And him get him money. And him spend it on him daughter. Him spend the whole life on him daughter. You see me? Henry said the tragic incident has irrevocably altered the family Xmas plans. Me now make no more plans. Everything where me did a plan gets stopped. And I don't want to go nowhere. Fellow delivery workers express reluctance to continue waiting for delivery requests at the shop. So it's like them do delivery and it look like they had a shop there. You know what I mean? People call them sometime and ask them for you know what I mean buy stuff and bring to them or maybe other places but them just hang out at the shop there because the shop there open late. You know what I mean? So a next delivery rider say yo him now nah hang out there so again you see me after we go on so you have to just learn and move on you see me and red hills a whole heap of time out here a lot of things happen up there man get caught up you know what i mean people have to use other road them can't drive there so you understand so me don't know why people would have hang out at a place where them know they can't get at at any time them say them don't know if this youth are involved in or nothing but people leave your comment let me know what you think in the comment section so we are going to move on and our people where a man jump out in our car and take him on a three points jano star where this man could have go through man kill after reportedly jumping in front of vehicle along highway the St. Catherine South Traffic Department is seeking to ascertain the identity of a man who died along the PGA Patterson Highway on Tuesday night. 
it is reported that the man was hit by a Toyota Probox motor car after he jumped into the part of the vehicle about 10.30 p.m. The impact also caused extensive damage to the vehicle. The man was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Chano star, boy, may I tell you, you have people in this world where I go through some things where them feel like, say, boy, this is it. Them are go through the worst thing and nobody now go through worse than them. So, you know what I mean? Them are go take them three points because that are the only solution. Some of the time we feel like say our burden is the heaviest and what we are go through are the most extreme. Nobody now go through nothing like that. Always remember the story where the man eat the banana skin. You see me I say? So some of the time you just need to talk to somebody. You understand? You know, if you go talk to people in your area where they are go take you and cuss you or they are go laugh after you or whatever. You know what I mean? You can go out of your area find a local church or a MP or somebody. You know, even a, a person on the road you can chat to see him way. Just forget to have some things off of your chest. You understand? And get an next person perspective. Because sometimes, as I say, you feel like you go through the worst, but there is a simple solution some of the time. You know what I mean? Some of the time you have to just ride out your storm. But people, you know what I mean? I don't feel say taking your three points at the solution. You see it? So, we are going to move on, people. We are men, we are men get caught up and drop out in a Clarendon. See it? A man was shot dead during an alleged confrontation with the police along the Osborne Store Main Road in Clarendon Tuesday afternoon. An illegal firearm was reportedly seized during the incident, the police said. The Independent Commission of Investigations in the com has launched a probe into the incident. The dead man has been identified as 24-year-old Dovian Skiff, otherwise called Tutu, a resident of Osborne Store. Police reports indicated that around 14 p.m. a team of three police personnel from the Clarendon division responded to information that gunmen were seen at a bar along the roadway. On their arrival, one member of the team reportedly entered the bar while others gave cover. It was reported that on entering the bar, Skiff was seen coming in from a rear door. He reportedly pointed a gun at the police who took evasive action, discharged his service weapon, hitting the now deceased. Kiskiev, it was further reported, fell backwards and made another attempt to shoot at the policeman while lying on the ground. Another member of the police party who was outside discharged his service weapon at him, a 9mm semi-automatic pistol, was reportedly taken from the injured man he was rushed to the Maypin Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. No member of the police team nor any of the patrons in the bar were injured. Chaja, why may I tell her? So people, just let me know what you think in the comment section. Remember to like and also subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon.